Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to do a three stocks I'm buying. These are companies that I think or I deem as uh, grossly undervalued or they have a lot of potential for future growth. So I'm going to cut straight to the chase. The three companies are going to be Dropbox, Jumia, and my favorite, Nano Dimension. We already know Dropbox has a really good product that has potential for growth in the future as well. Considering their position right now, I would say that they are uh, grossly undervalued at around $8 billion. Now, nothing exciting has really been happening in the stock, but I think this gives you the best opportunity to get in a stock cheap because when there is activity and there's positive activity, you're going to be paying a premium for the stock. I think in the future, at some point, it will pass this $24.14 mark. Now, when exactly, I'm not sure, but what I can say is with in terms of my price targets, I'm guessing that price could come down to around $16.78, $16, 16 and a roughly. I think it's going to want to come down here and test these areas again, just because price has been down here before. So I think if it does come down to these levels, it's going to be a nice area for it to bounce and for people to start entering their Dropbox positions again. But for whatever reason, uh, Dropbox just doesn't want to push higher. And considering the value proposition of their company, I believe they're grossly undervalued right now and that they have a lot of potential for upside. They have an excellent balance sheet. They have growing revenues and it's just all around a good product that integrates with a lot of different services. So what I see happening is it coming down to this level of support at around $17, maybe 16 and a half, who knows? Remember, we can't predict the bottom exactly. Or it starts to move up again, passes our $20 area, retests, and then continues to move higher. And if that's the case, I believe the best short-term target would be $24. Now, if we go back in time even further, we would have a price target of even $26. I think the most realistic thing to happen in the short term is passing this $24 barrier, so I would definitely look at that. So right now we're looking at Jumia stock on the daily time frame. The most notable high in the most recent pass is going to be this $24 mark. In order for us to get there, we do have to break past this $19 mark. And in the long term of things, we definitely want to see it go past this uh, $28 mark if we look back in June of last year. So in the shorter time frame, we did have a breakdown in price from around $19.5 all the way down to about uh, $11.70. So that's just about 50%. I think it's around 40% of a uh, value taken away from the stock from its high. But what's good to notice is that there was this really sharp move downward and we have seen a slow run up since then. So if we go back in time on a one hour, we'll see that in the past, we had an area of resistance at around the $14.5 mark. And if we drag this all the way across, we will see that we actually had it as an area of support in the near term. So you want to start on the higher time frames just to see where exactly price looks like it wants to go. And then you want to start zooming in. And then when you start to go down in the time frames, that's where you start to gauge where you think a good entry would be. So these are the same exact lines, but now I move down to a 15 minute time frame. And the first thing I notice is that this $15 mark is holding almost perfectly. You want to look for areas that price reacts a whole bunch. And it looks like the $15 area seems to be an area where price likes to move a lot. See, in the past, it hit 15, and it took a pretty sharp move upward. Fast forward to November 9th, and it ended up falling straight through that $15 mark down to $11.70, followed by a sharp run to $15 yet again, and here we are trading off of the $15 line as support. I think as long as we can stay above this $15, this is an excellent area of support to ride this stock up to $20. We are looking at a little bit of resistance at the uh, $15.80 mark. But something to take note here is that we did gap down and we have already closed this gap to the left. So uh, this is going to be an area of interest for sure, in my opinion. At this point, we do want to see some kind of break of uh, resistance and retest of support. But I think we already got that here at the uh, $15 mark. So I don't think we'll have to do it again. We've already closed the gap. So I think the uh, the real probable thing to happen right now at this point is to run up and touch these previous highs. Last but definitely not least is Nano Dimension. So if we look back in May, which is about six months ago, we saw this initial run all the way up to around $4.88. So this is a four hour time frame. So each of these candlesticks represents four hours of time. We ended up punching through this uh, previous high of $4.88 all the way up to $6. Price ended up breaking down by about half, all the way down to uh, below $3, a little more than half. And then we have since ran back up to around $4.70. 
Now, in my opinion, the way this is setting up is it's setting itself up for a nice bull trend. So something I've noticed with the most recent direct offerings is that the prices that Nano Dimension does issue their shares, the price likes to stick around those prices. Initially, it was around $2 a share and then $3 a share, and now we're sitting around $4. There's not a lot of institutional holding right now in Nano Dimension, so a lot of this, I believe, is retail based. The biggest institutional holder of Nano Dimension is Ark Invest as of now. This run up to $6, immediately followed by a crash to uh, $3, is a healthy move for it to move past this $6 range. Because think about it, whoever was trying to buy Nano Dimension definitely didn't want to buy it at $6, but they had the opportunity to buy it at $3. We had these previous highs, they make new lows. This high was around $3.20. It fell down to around $2, again, around 40 to 50% in value. It ran up to $6, moved down to around $3. Again, 40 to 50% of value, actually a little more. So right now, the really only notable area of uh, resistance at this point at $4.76 is gonna be this high that we made in May of this year at $5, $4.88. So if we could break this uh, level of resistance, come back and test it as support and succeed, I think we could definitely see a hard run past $6. I truly believe that uh, Nano Dimension is getting more uh, notoriety and attention than it was in the past. The only attention that it was getting in the past anyways is the fact that it used to be $100 a share and now it's you know trading around three, four bucks. You could look at all my past videos on Nano Dimension if you wanna learn more about the company. I've definitely covered them a lot on this channel. These are not the only three stocks that I would consider buying, but right now, these are the three favorite stocks that I have in my portfolio. I would definitely say that these price targets are uh, definitely possible in, I would say, the next uh, month to three months. The stocks still are cheap. Truly, I don't think that, uh, for example, Nano Dimension is going to stay in the penny stock range, and I don't think Jumia is worth $15. I wanted to remind you guys that I have a Discord link down in the description. It's totally free. I'm trying to grow that community to have a bunch of people with uh, similar mindsets to talk about potential companies that maybe one of you missed out on and just a place for us to hang out and talk stocks. It's a place that you can find me and a bunch of others on this channel. So uh, if that's something you're interested in, it's free. I would definitely check that link out in the description. There's two links that will get you free stock. So if you don't have a brokerage account with Webull or Robinhood, you can click those links and register with them. With Webull, if you deposit, you'll get free shares. With Robinhood, I believe you just have to open the account and you'll get free shares. So not only do you get free stocks, but it also helps me create more content for you guys. So uh, if you do decide to register with that, I want to say thank you. But besides that, the paper gains today have been pretty massive. I'm very happy with how the market's moving today. I hope it continues this way. Hopefully there's no like political nonsense or like CV19 closure again or anything crazy like that that would uh, send stocks into turmoil. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you're watching, please go ahead and like the video and you should even consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell notification to get notified when I make videos just like this one. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.